nervous in front of people? Oh, you know, Harry's never nervous in front of people. No. He's just so calm, most cool, and collected. Do. Most actors get panicked. I know. I wasn't you nervous know, until the service. That, yeah. that great line he had in uh, the satire of the Sid, Sid the Season show, uh, Peter O'Toole, John Oh, my, my favorite year. Yeah. Yeah, and good movie. Had to be alive and look, guys, his people! He was terrified. People terrified him. Yeah. Well, like Joseph Bologna in that. He was great. Oh, well, yeah. Very, very few actors get nervous when they have to be, be, be themselves. They could be Genghis Khan and feel wonderful. Oh, so I was sure. doing a movie with uh, John the Kaplan. He talked about actors. He said, as soon as they see the sound and the camera, he noticed the actors start tensing up. He said, the only person he never saw that was Jodie Foster. She's always just totally relaxed. It takes a lot. That's an important thing, right? Relaxation. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, if you watched the Golden Globes last night, you noticed that uh, no matter what uh, Ricky Gervais said to Jodie Foster, she was like laughing and thumbs up to the guy. Yeah, she's a professional. Did you get a haircut? No. It looks like you got a haircut a little bit. Does it? Man, you're observant, but no. <laughs> No, he looks clean. He's clean cut. Yeah, he's yeah I got the. Business. Remember the guy comes out the Apollo black guy and he goes like, "Ain't I clean? Ain't I clean?" Yeah. Business face. You always have to be. Clean. Yeah, we got to put on the business face. You go into a big deal. Let him today. start them. Man. Uh, just a little art business, you know. You started already. You talk yourself you into great oh yeah, we're we're well into this. You started it already. Yeah. Oh, of course. I'm not gonna. You had it. I'm not gonna miss out on Was this good stuff. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. See, that's what I wanted. See, I sneak up <laughs> on you. It? I didn't know it. That's wonderful. Why you didn't see anything bad? Oh my God! Did you get a bonus? Whoever's gonna watch this, if there's somebody gonna. Yeah. Watch just let the old camera roll, and you never you know what you'll capture. A lot of people watching it. I get emails all the time from. People watching all around well, the you know, I think an admirable fact is that there are few people willing to make film and don't care if they watch it or not. You have to tell people. Mm. Oh, they're watching no, out there. Come, but they, you can't, but you, don't, they don't, you don't really care. And yet you're willing to do it because it's a wonderful thing. People want to get on it. And love it but it's wonderful. Yeah, people like want to be on Times Times Three. They're uh, watching it, and they they want to know how well, how do I get on there? No, they just want. To, they probably have a problem they'd like to discuss with us. We love to discuss with them problems. In life. Uh, in sure, life. send me an email. We'll pop the question to the two regulars here. Where can they send an email? They can't send an email then. Right to YouTube. Yeah, when they respond to YouTube, we get it. Oh really? Yeah, absolutely. We got one so there's a way of contacting us. Or the blog. So if there's a human being watching us, we should have had contact by now. And, and we have. And yet we've gotten a lot of contact. Oh, I've gotten oh, yeah, ask Harry. I, I, yeah. I have to come in in disguises. Now. I got yeah. at home, if you're in one period of three weeks, I got 28 emails from people all around the country. I just sent yeah, you one the other day. Yeah, you're a well-known poet. No, I just got, movie, movie you have star. to tell people because they don't, there are thousands, millions of people out there yeah. in the internet, right? Yeah. So like a library. So you have, people have to look, look at the one I sent you the other day from Raymond Benson. He's a well-known film scholar. He said, I love the videos. Did he say that? Yeah. forwarded it to you. And when is he getting out of the institution? <laughs> well, sometime they, soon. Are they okay, his weekend release? Because maybe he can come on and tell us what it's like to be confined. As long as he wears his wristband, oh, we're you. okay. That's right. Look, you really know how to raise a guy's spirits, Mr. Don Sherman. Yeah. Yeah, that we do. You can't raise anybody's spirits. they got to do that. Don't you feel that? You That's can, they, right. You see, Go over and cheer him up. You can't cheer him up. <laughs> That's He's right. You've got to be able to cheer him so far. Just look in the mirror. Unless and you smile. want to be like a Siamese twin to him. That dog wanted to get on. A dog? Yeah, he wants the residual. Yeah, dog's looking to get on people the program. Really treat you know. I love the way people, people say. And how do you feel? Like go oh, talk about your body. I feel okay. Yeah. Okay, the food's good. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you're such a good dog. Oh, thank you. Buddy. You get upset with those dogs when they don't speak the language. And it's, it's amazing the relationship people have with their animals. They look like their dogs, right? Of course. Yeah, they, they, they start people look a little like their dogs. It's yeah, they, they, when I talk, you watch people walking with their dogs. I saw so many girls walking with little tiny dogs. You can't even see them. If your vision is not perfect, it looks like she's dragging a roach or something along. Like but there was this little animal, it's so cute. You're going to take care of it, put it in your some carry it in their pocketbook. And I was thinking today, as I was driving, and I saw a lot, lot of people heading to their dog, how do you think the dog feels about having to go to the bathroom and have you stare at him? Would, would you like somebody, I'm just sitting here to watch that you do it, that's all, I have a piece of paper. 
Dogs must really be insulted by some of you humiliated. Uh, would, would you do it if you had the watch like that? No, not likely. Yeah. Uh, my dog used to rush into the bushes to do it. Oh, you really? It was privacy. Dog, you had to do it a little long What time. type of dog did you have? Thing. It was a schnoodle, which is a schnauzer and a poodle cross, oh, and he was, he was a real character, dog. that guy. Hollywood with party dog. Hollywood party dog. Do you have a dog now? No, we don't. It's hard to replace Max. He was yeah. kind of uh, one of a kind, you know. And, yeah, we, 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 we had one, Sadie, big chow. Gosh, because she'd kill everybody. Yeah, they're hard to replace. Yeah. yeah. I had a dog when I was 12 and I called him Penzoil. Why Penzoil? I don't know why, I just did. Penzoil? You're, you're just like an auto guy. <laughs> you're a car, car geek. I like cats. Cats better than dogs. Well, low cats? maintenance. Yeah, cats, cats pay you no mind no matter what it is. If they want to be nice to you, okay. Not... We had a stray cat wander in and we started feeding him and now it became like a habit coming all day and I really liked him. He was so cute. And one day, Maven went out, Maven is my wife, and one day she went out, and she tried to give him his little can of tuna fish, and he went. That's a feral cat. Lost room and board. Yeah, and well. Was, I don't want to see that cat here. I never saw that cat again. No, well, it's a feral cat. That's the difference. And you it's know, not there was a while there when I used to put his food out, after a couple of days, other cats knew about it. Uh, oh, sure. So other cats would come back. And I would fight that other cat like that. Other cat should have known that was his student. How is that other cat that? Why am I blaming that other cat? Why do I think yeah. he's so evil? Because he's good going for that tuna fish. But I defended his the tuna fish thing. You know what? You know when those other they neighborhood cats. My wife, huh? You know when the other neighborhood cats started coming? As soon as they hear that can open, you could they could be 50 feet away, they hear that open. They go back to where the food's going to be. Yep. Isn't that isn't that amazing to, to, to think that you have to get up in the morning and like hunt for food? I remember a kid in Jamaica tell, 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 telling me uh, when some tourist was putting him down for pressing too hard to sell his thing. He says, "Man, I get up in the morning. Sometimes there's no food. I got to climb a tree." And just to think about that, get get up and there's there's no food. What do they do? What do those people do? At yeah. least they had a tree to climb, you know, in his case. Well, in, yes. in today... <laughs> in the desert, there's no tree to climb. And today, you know, the there's other day on C-SPAN, I saw a panel of Michael Moore, Cornel West, among others, talking about how many homeless and how many hungry people there are in America. And they said, there are 400, what, 35 people in Congress, one president. There's no leadership. You know, no, there's there leadership is. for a war. There's leadership to help, out, help Wall Street out in the bank. There's no leadership to help the ordinary working guy. There are at least 50 million people that are hungry all the time, and even up to 150 million don't get enough to eat. No need for it when we consider that 40 percent of all food produced in the United States is tossed out. Is what? Thrown out. 40 percent. Yeah. It's a it's a known on the, on the cruise ships. Actual statistic. They cannot give it to the, to the, 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 the people. They can't give it. They got to throw it in the water. Big cakes have never been touched. That's right. Gigantic cake. Out. Don't and you think they eat enough? <laughs> no, yeah, but they can't. The when people, they pull into a port, they can't give it away. Like we uh, we uh, we go to Haiti a lot, and they go aboard this uh, island, and they have a picnic for the guests. And they tell you, and all the locals who live nearby are standing there like they're in the zoo looking at us. And they're walking by with hamburgers and hot dogs and they're dying. And they tell the employees that do not, if you, you can be dismissed, you can be fired if you feed them because they'll have, they'll come over the gates. Yeah, it's and so they so should. Terrible. It's terrible. And food grows everywhere a little water a little manure and you got food why should there not be enough food distribution compassion what is it what is it like people like to starve when there's enough food there's no need for it no need for it and yet we have it because why? what happened the middle class is gone and now it's the rich people and the poor people a lot of people used to be middle class lost their homes and all that and they yeah, didn't yeah have but food. that doesn't mean people have to starve mm -hmm. i'm saying how can we get to a point where we have not, oh yeah, they're starving to death there. If you want your food, go Yeah, I, I think we have some French toast arriving oh, for oh, Don. Oh, yeah. Thank right. you. We'll talk while you eat, Don. Oh, thank you. We'll discuss. That's the picture I saw. Yeah. You just go ahead and eat and pretend like you're Henry Miller eating. Eating and talking. Yeah.
You can eat and talk at the same time, oh, right? Yeah. I get to pan the camera down and we take a little look. That's wonderful. Well, That's look at that. Huh? Have a, have That's a job wonderful. Where you can eat. Yeah, but you know what? I never understand. My wife, you know, she's I a great him, cook. Didn't tell him if the whip is the whip. She she loves the she loves to cook. She's a great cook. She watches the Food Channel, and then you have these food critics. Could you imagine being a food critic and have to eat all the food all the time that these people prepare? I mean, I don't know how they no do it. No thanks. Then to have the taste. I mean, you have it in art. You have it in comedy. I have it in movies and poetry. And be able to uh, distinguish, you know, what's good, what's bad, all the different flavors and tastes. Yeah. Now, right here, could you get that camera down here, Mr. David? That's good plating. I did. I, I took I took a shot of it. Yes, it's on right now. We're, we're well, I'm actually eating like a human being. Yeah, that's on. all right. You can do it. Don't worry. You can do it. But Just did, 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 didn't you say to the guy like in a half hour bring this in? Only after the show, 15 yeah, minutes. Show. Now, well, did, did, the, the cook didn't know that. Could you imagine if this was like a, a bombing raid? Come back in 15 minutes and you've got to look at seven minutes. Of you know what I like to do? We were talking about hunger the other day. What I like to do sometimes is just take an empty coffee can and start down in Venice and just put my head down and right on front of the coffee can just put, I'm hungry, and just walk north and never ask anybody for anything. Just walk. See how much you get. Yeah, probably zero, right? I don't know. You'd be surprised, man. Yeah. People, that, that's one thing. There's something, I don't know whether it's occupiers and occupied half, but. There is a thing among the people that's pretty, pretty groovy. They, they, when, when the chips are down, I go back to that crocodile Dundee scene. Oh yeah, in New York. Where yeah. They lose each other in, in yeah. the subway, and the people actually lift them up and bring them together. They're trying to get rid of. And look, look at it in in, in the news to the, to today. A guy <laughs> knifed a guy, and a crowd chased him down. Yeah. Well, the thing about the movie. That's a movie, so they always want to have a happy ending in the movie, right? Yeah, well, of course, two, yeah. Two people come together and love each other, and all yeah. the people in New York are helping them. In reality, remember that Genovese thing in New York City where some woman got killed, and like 39 people saw it, and they, did, they didn't even tell anybody. They closed their windows. Yeah. So there's a lot of uncaring, too. Yeah, don't want to get involved. Yeah. Well, uncaring, that's not uncaring. That's a preventative, preventative maintenance. <laughs> preventative maintenance. Uh, they're, 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 you, you know, you got in the middle of a squabble and then that's for, for the sake of organization. Look at, that's why people starve, right? We've got to organize it. You're and, not starving. And the ones that know how to get it, get it. And the ones that don't know how to get it, don't get it. Are you saying the system works for those within the system? Yes. How's I this? don't think the system works for anybody because you know, you, when, when you think of it, if 1% has all the money and having a wonderful time, and 99% are miserable and unhappy, you have to live with the 99%. So it can't be too nice a thing to be, unless you shield yourself off from them completely, is there's a lot of depressed people with people around. We're part of the 99%. Yes, yes. that's right. And the 1%, they've got security guards, high gates, video cameras, so that they don't even benefit. bulletproof cars, right, right. You and know, and private you jets. See the poor bus that doesn't have a nickel walking with three kids and they go to Walmart and then they sit outside by McDonald's and they're laughing and having a good time. And the guy with that mansion with 76 rooms, he doesn't know he can't sleep, his pills. He's shaking, he's nervous. Yeah. But what about all the people? When a rich man dies, all the poor people go and watch the funeral. You know, they live vicariously through all these rich people too, right? The money people, the celebrities. Some do, yeah. Yeah, you know, they just, they don't know how to yeah, deal with that's themselves. Yeah, that, that's a sick way of getting yeah. the joy. Yeah. You know, a lot of people do that. What about, you listen to all the people talking about the movie stars and the TV stars all the time. You know, they don't, they should just talk about themselves, what they're doing today, right? Well, well if, your they, if, 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 if they did, there'd, there'd be war. So there's some war anyway. Yeah, there'd I guess that's true. Well, do, do we have a word of the day, gents? Word, word, word of the day is uh, of food. <laughs> food. <laughs> food. That, that's apropos. Yeah. Yes. We God, have too much of it, and we throw too much of it away. It, God bless it. There's always some around. Otherwise, forget it. Even a little bird finds a crumb. Food. Yeah, that's a good word of the day. Yeah, well, but there's a better word for food. Give, give, we'll ask the uh, poet. What's a not beautiful word for food? Sustenance. 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 My 
My sentiments exactly. Sustenance. So with that, we'll close out times times three again from live from Marcos and West Hollywood. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, David. Thank yeah. you, Don.